when you're ready. Thank you for the Altman Foundation and the Horace W. Goldsmith Foundation for helping make the podcast possible. Nice. Welcome to our show. Join our club. It's the 52nd Street Podcast. From the heart of Hell's Kitchen, this is the podcast a podcast created by the community at the 52nd Street Project. We are a nonprofit in New York City that partners the young people of Hell's Kitchen with professional artists to create original work that is often performed free of charge for the public. I'm John Sheehy, Director of Institutional Advancement here at the Project. We are back with more playmaking. This Friday and Saturday, December 9 and 10, we are producing a wild and wacky bunch of plays under the title Off the Wall, the Zany Plays. This show will be performed in person at our very own Five Angels Theater and live-streamed on our YouTube channel. You can find information for both virtual and in-person reservations on our website, 52project.org. And of course, a new playmaking production brings a new round of behind-the-pencil interviews, where I sit down with the young playwrights to chat about their experiences in the playmaking program and their in-house writing retreat here at the 52nd Street Project. So without further ado, here are my conversations with the newest members of the 52nd Street Project. What's your name? Angel. And how old are you? Nine. What was your favorite part of the playmaking class that you took here on Tuesdays with Kat? I liked the writing a lot, and it helped me with my writing in school. It helped me, like, write more Uh and stuff. So thinking about all the characters that you've created, um, who do you think is your favorite character that you've created? Um, The owl bear. The owl bear? Yes. Does does he have a name? Owl bear. Owl bear. And why do you think that's your favorite? Because I, because I, that was the, that was the most writing I'd done with that character. Uh Uh-huh. So it kind of made me feel feel proud of, about myself. What's the title of your play? Uh, Snow Day. And what is Snow Day about? Snow Day is about this this um, person wants to play in a ping pong a tournament, but he can't because he has a job. So he tries he tries to sneak back into his house and practice the ping pong the tournament but then his boss knew so he told him to do clean do clean this snow pile in this in this area what's your favorite thing about your play my favorite thing about the play is that i like how the the actors you know they 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 do like a good job on the play mm-hmm. And it's surprising. What are you looking forward to the most about the shows coming up? My my show, other shows, you know, like my friends' shows, any shows in particular. Uh huh. And yeah, but I'm re- what I'm really looking forward to is my show. And what do you want the audience to get from seeing your play? I want I want I want them to laugh. Why did you choose to become a member of the Fifty Second Street Project? Because my own sister did it. Um, Chase did it, and a lot of my family members did it. Is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to here at the project once you're a full member at the end of playmaking? Um, once I'm a full member at the end of the playmaking, I want to teach other kids. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's cool, yeah. How would you describe the 52nd Street Project to someone who doesn't know anything about it? I would describe it as, like, if if you had, like, if you had like a rehearsal of acting like if you want to become like a real like a real writer or an actor that's like that's like a good place you start at because they help you a lot in writing and acting and other more stuff is there anything else you want to talk about today now now it looks more like fall for some reason even though we're in the middle of winter <laughs> and i like how there's all there's like a lot of leaf piles and how the col the color is, mm-hmm. and I I'm I'm getting ready for for next season to come where all the snow is gonna come. Are you looking forward to this now? Yeah. Do you think that's your favorite 
season yes. is winter. And and when every every time when winter comes and the when you go to the backyard of the building, you can see like snowmans uh-huh. every, uh, everywhere. One time, one time I was trying to build a snowman, but then, but then when I was trying to walk to get more snow, I accidentally tripped. <laughs> well, it totally makes sense then that you wrote this play called Snow Day, and that one of the characters in it is a snowplow driver. Yeah. Anything else you want to talk about? I think that I think that everybody's play was funny and mm-hmm. cool and unique in their own way. Excellent. Well, thanks for talking with me today, Angel. What's your name? Bella. And how old are you? I'm 11 years old. Who do you think is your favorite character that you've created? Um, I feel like my favorite character would have to be Driana and also Taiga. Uh-huh. And who are Driana and Taiga? There are these two characters. It's Taiga is a tiger and a cat, and Gianna is a tree. And, like, at first they weren't friends, but then, like, they started becoming really good friends. Nice. What's the title of your play? Mm, the Witch's Cat. And what is The Witch's Cat about? It's about this witch named Mary and this werewolf named, um, what was it called? I forgot. Jacob. Oh, yeah, Jacob. Yeah, I forgot. And basically, Mary has a black cat who came from an abusive home. And it's mostly about, like, all three of them together, like Jacob, the cat, and Mary. Mm -hmm. And it basically shows, like, a life story, like, a lifetime. And it basically shows the character's, like, side story. Mm -hmm. And Jacob also came from an abusive home. Mm -hmm. And now, like, they... Like, Jacob lives in an abandoned amusement park. Yeah. And Mary lives in a cabin near the woods and stuff. Right. And so, like, they met by a frisbee. (laughs) That's right, hitting her door. (laughs) Yeah, they met by a frisbee. It's something like Tyga and Triana. Like, it shows their life story. Cool. There's a lot of humor in your play. There's a lot of parts that are really funny. Mm -hmm. What inspired you... In writing the play or in making it so funny or? Um, I feel like by, like, comedy sometimes and also that, like, movies, because sometimes I watch movies and they're, like, funny, so I get inspiration from that. And maybe just, like, my parents, because some, like, of my parents inspired me to, like, be funny and, like, add funny parts into the play Mm -hmm. and stuff. What is your favorite thing about your play? Um, my favorite thing about the play would have to be all of it. I like I love my play, like Yeah. I love everything about it. Like, even though there is some mistakes, but either way it's a good play that yeah. I would consider being with. What do you want the audiences to get from seeing your play? Um, I want them to be like curious sometimes, like have a laugh. And probably enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Why did you choose to become a member of the 52nd Street Project? Um, well, I wanted to fall like into my mother's footsteps because she also came here when she was my age. And I thought it was going to be a really fun like place for me. And I thought that um, it was going to be really nice and have lots of nice people, which everyone here is, like, amazing. Like, I love Uh everybody here. How would you describe the 52nd Street Project to someone who doesn't know anything about it? Um, I would describe it as enjoyable, fun, entertaining, um, like, calm, like, nice, helpful. There's lots of partnership, um, friendship. And everyone here is just kind. What's your name? Chloe. And how old are you? Eleven. So thinking about all the characters that you created in class and for your latest play and stuff like that, who do you think is your favorite character that you've created so far? In the play that I'm using, in the, yeah, the play I'm using for the performance, I have a character that's like, 
a teenager and she's like a feminist and she's very like independent and um I really liked making that character. Great. What's that character's name? Um <laughs> It's been so long since I was here. I know. Um her name is um Genevieve. Genevieve, nice. What was your favorite part about the weekend retreat that we had here at the clubhouse? Probably like towards the like end of writing our plays because it was like um, kind of where I already had the whole idea down and I just had to finish it. Uh huh. It's a good feeling when you get something finished. What's the title of your new play? It's um, Back to the Past. And what's Back to the Past about? Uh, it's about a boy that's like 12 years old and he um, falls through his TV and goes back to the 1800s when he meets Genevieve. Nice. What inspired you to write the play? Well, I was like thinking about like TV shows that I've watched as like inspiration. Uh -huh. And like I always like, I remember this um, one show that had like something about them going to the past and like experiencing that and it gave me the idea of like making like using now time and then also like back from the past. Yeah. What do you think is the most challenging thing about creating a play? I think the beginning when you start writing dialogue is really hard because I know for me I write like dialogue as if it was a conversation so like the person would like say okay after most of the things you say are like yes and I know that's like a lot of writing and so I had to figure out how to like minimize it so they didn't have to like say like like some of the things are just like natural gestures uh -huh. you'll do like when you're on stage that I didn't have to write and so I just like had written a lot of extra stuff that was kind of hard. Yeah it's a, a it's like creating a style of writing or a style of speaking that has to feel right to you as the person who's writing it. What are you looking forward to the most about the shows that are coming up? I think for after the plays, like after it's over, I'll probably feel like proud. And then also, I know a lot of my family members are coming from like other places as well to watch it. And so I'm really excited for them to see that. What do you want the audience to get from seeing your play? Um, to like feel the characters and like how their emotions change a lot over the play. Why did you choose to become a member of the 52nd Street Project? Well, I had a, a, a lot of friends that um, came here and I had gone to one of my friend's plays and it like sounded really cool to like be able to write your own play and like I really liked all the plays and so I decided to join. How would you describe the 52nd Street Project to somebody who doesn't know anything about it? Mm, it's a very friendly community. Nice. Is there anything else you'd like to say about playmaking or the 52nd Street Project? Um, at first it was like nerve-wracking, but after like, because it's a friendly community, you kind of like know everybody and it gets like really fun and like it's a very good experience. Uh -huh. Why do you think you were nerve-wracked at the beginning of it? Well, I didn't know anybody, and, like, uh -huh. I didn't know how to write a play. Right. So I had to, like, learn all about that. But then after, like, I learned stuff, it was, like, fun to write a play. What's your name? Emily. And how old are you? Nine. So what was your favorite part about the weekend retreat that we just had here over the weekend? The bowling. The bowling? How'd you do with the bowling? Bad. <laughs> Come on, how bad could it be? I didn't get not even one strike. Not one strike. No. That's disappointing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you used to getting strikes? A little bit. I normally get like one. What do you think made the difference this time that you didn't get any? Maybe I was nervous because I had never really gone on a trip with these people. I see, I see, yeah. What's the title of your play? The Change. What is The Change about? It was about, um, there was these two water bottles, and uh -huh. there, it was called Max Water. He wanted to turn into a soda bottle because he has this nail in his head. 
Ooh. And he when I, and he's good at dancing, and they got this house, uh-huh. and that's when the monologue comes in, and that's when the song comes in, <laughs> nice. and um, it tells and it tells his little sister, Grace uh-huh. Water, it tells her all about what he, she wanted to do, and um, they got they went through this whole obstacle of going through. Um, they went through this amusement park. I mean, water park. They went through a storage. Well, they went through a storage to the to escape to get to the to get to the water park. From the water park, they got to this house that everything changed. Their whole life made this big change. And that's why it's called the change. Yep. That's great. Um, what inspired you to write this play, or even just to write about water bottles? But where did that idea come from? Well, it was if. I just thought about a water bottle, and I just made it like that, and I just made it just stretch out from, it was from a music park, from escaping, from getting close to each other, just from, it just popped out. What do you think is the most challenging thing about writing a play? Thinking about the play, thinking about what are the characters, characters, characters going to be <laughs> about, yeah. what's their names, that's the hardest part, actually, the names. Coming up with the names. Yeah. Yeah. What is your favorite thing about your play? Oh, there's a part that he says that to climb out of the window, and, and he says that I'm going to get dirty. Yeah. And and he, and then he wants to go dance, and, he's, and he, then he says, oh, I'm rusty from climbing out of the window. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking forward to the most about the shows that are coming up? Well, mostly I'm looking for... Of the enjoyment of my play, not really about my play. I'm, uh-huh. I'm really mostly about is how much the people love my play. Yeah. Not really about the play itself. It's about how much the people love the play. What do you want the audience to learn from seeing your play? Well, there's a part that it's it says that it's just from the inside. It's only from what's in the inside, not from the outside. Uh-huh. Because he changes the water bottle from a soda bottle because she's magical. Oh. And it's something about that it matters what's in the inside, not the outside. So it matters about what's the love in the inside, not the love in the outside. Yeah. Why did you choose to become a member of the 52nd Street Project? Well, a lot of my friends came here, and they said that it was fun, and Chloe's um, sister came here, Katie, Uh she came here, and she said it, and I came to one of her plays, actually, and I found it really fun, but I was too young to do it then, so I had to wait until now. Until you're old enough. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, what's your name? Jose. And how old are you? Nine. What was your favorite part about taking the class with Kat? My favorite part is that how she asks questions. What kind of questions would she ask? Um, she asks how does um, the character um, does this? Uh huh. And if the character can uh, like bring a uh, like like a wand. Uh huh. To to like to um to like a cave. Yeah. Right, that that happens in your play. Yeah. And so she wants to, she asks you questions about your ideas. Yeah. Who or what is your favorite character that you've created in the playmaking class? Um, pineapple. And who is pineapple? Pineapple is a rabbit. And what makes pineapple so special? That he he's nice and he's grateful. He's particularly grateful about what? He's grateful because um, anything he gets, um, he he likes it. Uh huh. Sounds like a really nice rabbit. Why do you think that pineapple is your favorite? Because um, he does a lot of stuff for for his uh, family. Uh huh. Have you titled your play? Yeah. What's the title? The title is um, "Son and Mother." And what is "Son and Mother" about? They're like about um that pineapple gets like like um pineapple is going like back to his um old cave and he has like a new cave and at the old cave he finds like this wand and he says abracadabra and he disappears in this uh white 
room mm -hmm. with like all these buttons that like anything he like presses comes out like uh, like this um, door uh -huh. in the sky. Wow. What's your favorite thing about your play? My favorite thing about my play is that that I like how like people like to uh, act out my um, my writing. Why did you choose to become a member of the 52nd Street Project? Um, because uh, my grandma signed me up uh -huh. for it, and uh, she wanted me to do it. And I like to um, be here and do the fun stuff that they do here. Great. What's your name? Chloe. How old are you? Eight. Nine. I almost said eight. <laughs> when was your birthday? May 17. May 17. Nice. And my name is Chloe with a K. Who or what do you think is your favorite character that you've come up with so far? Um, in my play? Sure, yeah. Um, maybe Foxy. Foxy? Who is Foxy? It's basically this girl, but her her other name um, is Ali. Uh-huh. Uh, wait, her name's Aliano, but like whenever she becomes like this, like this, um, whenever she holds on to like this necklace, basically it makes her be a fox, and then that's when her name becomes Foxy. Cool. And why do you think she's your favorite? Because she's like really the main character of the story. Oh, great, great. And what's your new play about? Um, it's basically about this girl that finds like this necklace at like a summer camp and. At the summer camp, she she has this friend named Alex, and that's also her birthday twin. And when she when she finds like this necklace, she she goes she hides it in her cabin so that basically um Alex does not see what it is. Uh -huh. And what then he was waiting for her at the cafeteria, and also then later on they go to like the pond and they start seeing all like these shiny necklaces and then they collect it all and then it, they try seeing if they can fly but they can't <laughs> great well so one of them can so they test out superpowers yeah where do you think you got the idea from basically I, me and my sister watched like this show but like it's different uh -huh. and um it really it gave me like the idea yeah What's but like it's like different uh-huh what's the show miraculous ladybug what do you think is the most challenging thing about creating a play that like sometimes it's a bit hard like to get to write down everything that you're thinking of because i had so many ideas that i ha that i had to like stop and think of one because then i'm going to be confused what i'm writing why did you choose to become a member of the 52nd Street Project? Because my sister came here and she she always talked about it and how she, much she liked coming here. And when I started coming here, I started liking it here because I did not expect for most of my classmates to be here. How would you describe the 52nd Street Project to someone who doesn't know anything about it? Oh, I say this all the time to my friends. What do you say? I say, well, 52nd Street Project is basically like this after school, and basically um, we get to play, and also they do homework help. So, like, if you need help with your homework, they can help you. And also, after that, we get to go, we go to the second floor, and we get to go, and we start learning about things that we can do in our play. And then, then we go out for a few minutes, and then we write things down that we have for our play. Uh -huh. And also we get snacks sometimes. What's your name? Mateo. And how old are you? Nine years old. So what was your favorite part about the playmaking class that you took here every week on Tuesday? It was pretty fun, you know. Not to make um, our own like little stories with different objects and stuff. Like, I did mine with um, a superhero action figure and a TV, so... Uh-huh. Yeah, it was pretty fun. That's terrific. My my next question was about the characters that you've been creating and playmaking. Um, 
who or what do you think was your favorite character that you created? Probably this little T-Rex called Timmy. Timmy, yeah. Timmy's in your most recent play. Yeah. And why do you think Timmy's your favorite? Because it's just like... I feel like it's so dumb, the name, and it's, like, so funny, like, Timmy the T-Rex. Yeah. What's the title of your play that has Timmy in it? The title of my play is The Big Adventure of Timmy the (laughs) T-Rex. What is The Big Adventure of Timmy the T-Rex about? Uh, It's about um, tiny tiny T-Rex named Timmy, uh, and his, um, and this other... A character named Miss Cobra, uh, and she works for an animal testing facility, and they captured um, Timmy's mom. So the whole story is about um, trying to save her, but and then Miss Cobra has like some backstory and stuff. So uh-huh. yeah. What inspired you to write this play? Not much. Um, I just like my dad always tells me if you think of something. Uh, no idea is a bad idea, so, like, uh-huh. I just thought of something, and I just start writing it. That's great. And then I come up with more. What's your favorite thing about your play? My favorite thing about my play is, like, the fights that happen. There's a lot of action in your play. Yeah. What do you want the audience to get from seeing your play? I, I, I feel like I just want to get, like, a couple, a couple laughs. I... Not asking for much. <laughs> I can guarantee you're going to get a couple of laughs. It's a really funny play yeah. and really fun to watch. Yeah. Why did you choose to become a member of the 52nd Street Project? Well, my parents say I'm a, I'm a legacy kid because, like, my sisters went here. So, um, yeah. And your dad. Oh, yeah, and, and my dad. So, like, it's kind of kind of just, like, runs in the family or something. That's right. It's, like, generations. It, it, ex- except my mom. Except your mom. Except my mom. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to say about playmaking or the 52nd Street Project? Um, go join it. <laughs> That's great. What's your name? My name is Samita. And how old are you? I am nine years old. So what was your favorite part about coming to playmaking classes here on Tuesdays? It was really good. I, I, um, my favorite thing was about it was in the beginning we got to play like games that relate to our characters. So uh-huh. it's like we act like our characters, which is like really fun. And we like my favorite one was like we go across the room acting like, for an example, our character is sad. It's like... I make some noises, and it's, like, really fun. It's just, like, it's really fun to, like, act like your character because then it's just, like, pretend that you're acting like, like, acting as the character because, like, it's kind of, like, oh, my God, I'm on stage, so I just, like, act like my character. It's really fun. What was your favorite part about the playmaking retreat that we had here over the weekend? Um, It was really fun because it actually got me way closer closer to um the other kids that are here and it got me close because I got to play games with them and I actually got closer to some of the kids here and especially during bowling and when we got to play ping pong. What is the most challenging thing about coming up with a play? I think the most challenging thing is finding the words to what they say because it's like what, what their character profile has to like like be like what they like what they say for an example like let's say if I have an attitude then I have to be like like oh sassy I have to be like not mean but like Uh I have to be like a little like sassy of the stuff I say and being mean but you're actually not mean at the same time you just have an attitude with it and a sassiness with this so you have to like find the words that they're gonna say for that like relates to the character profile Right. What's your favorite thing about your play? My favorite thing about the play is, like, how I added the potions. Because I feel like potions are, like, they're really cool. And and I was, like, thinking about it. I was, like, I feel like the potion prop is probably going to be really cool. What What are you looking forward to the most about the plays that are coming up? The props. Well, I want to see the people acting. I feel like I, like... 
every time I see the plays, I'm like, oh, my God, these props are so cool. And I'm just like, I was thinking about it every single day. My my play is going to have props in it for the potion. I'm just like, I'm so excited for the props because that's like at least my top ten dreams, yeah. at least. What do you want the audience to get from seeing your play? I want them to see that, well, here's one that I kind of thought of. Not all relationships work out, but then they might work up at, they might work out if you take a break. Like um, marriages, sometimes they get a divorce and then they come back with each other. So sometimes you need to take a break from people to be, to like um, um, make them come back again. Is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to doing here at the project? Well, I was like, she really thought I'd write a play, but then I'm just like, acting so cool but at the same time I'm just like I don't know like it's just like scary because like what if I can't remember their words if I get stage fright on the stage but I don't know I feel like acting might be really really fun for me how would you describe the 52nd Street Project to somebody who doesn't know anything about it amazing fun and cool because and also really lovable and caring because I feel like Kat and Natalie and Everyone here is just so nice to us. It's just like, I feel like, let's say if I'm having a bad day, it's just like, they make it good. Because, like, they make you feel like this is your home, kind of. Like, they make you feel level. They make you feel loved, and they make you have a better day if you're having a bad day. Because it's just like, it's just like every time you see them or you see anyone here, it's just like, happy mode is just on instead of a bad mode is just on. Because it's just like, they make you happy. And also... Acting, really cool. Making a play, is super cool. And also on the weekends, there's just like a surprise coming. Like bowling, so cool. I loved it. Oh, good, good. Yeah. That's it. Great. Thanks for talking with me, Samira. You're welcome. Thanks for talking to me, too. That was Angel, Bella, Chloe with a C, Emily, Jose, Chloe with a K, Mateo and Samira. To get your free tickets for Off the Wall, the Zany Plays, just head over to our website, 52project.org. All of us at the project would love to have you there. And now, for the credits. The project members featured in this episode were Angel, Bella, Chloe with a C, Emily, Jose, Chloe with a K, Mateo, and Samira. The podcast theme song was created by Justin and his smart partner, Eric March, and performed by Marinda Anderson, Rebecca, and Nicole. The project logo was created by Iris Brown. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The 52nd Street Project is supported by public funds from the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs and the New York State Council on the Arts. We are a nonprofit organization, and we're able to do what we do because of generous folks like you. We would love to see you at our latest production, so please make your reservations for these shows. Either in person or streaming, it's all free this Friday and Saturday. Visit 52project.org. That's all for today. Stay safe out there, and remember the project motto, we all belong, we all get along. See you next time on The Projectcast. Nothing rhymes with mud on the 52nd Street Project.